How beautiful you are, O Virgin of Christ, who were worthy to receive the Lord's crown, the crown of perpetual virginity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon. Let us prepare our hearts now to celebrate these mysteries of our faith. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you came to call sinners to yourself. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who desired the virgin blessed Kateri Tekawitha to flower among Native Americans in a life of innocence, grant through her intercession that when all are gathered into your church from every nation, tribe, and tongue, they may magnify you in a single canticle of praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the days of Ahaz, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, Rezan, king of Aram, and Pekah, king of Israel, son of Remaliah, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to conquer it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the heart of the king and the heart of the people trembled, as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, and you and your son Shir Jazhab at the end of the conduit of the upper pool on the highway of the fuller's field, and say to him, Take care, you remain tranquil and do not fear. Let not your courage fall before those two stumps of smoldering brands, the brazen anger of reason and the Aramaeans and of the son Romalia, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim, and the son of Romalia plot against you, saying, let us go up and tear Judah asunder, make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabil king there. Thus says the Lord, thou shalt not stand, it shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Rezin is the head of Damascus, Samaria is the capital of Ephraim, and Romalia's son, the head of Samaria. But within 60 years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed, no longer a nation. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. Holds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. For lo, the kings assemble, they come on together, they also see and at once are stunned, terrified, routed. Quaking seizes them there, anguish like a woman in labor, as though a wind from the east was shattering ships of Tarshish. God upholds his city forever. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done since they had not repented. Woe to you, Koratsin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the Day of Judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? Will you go down to the netherworld? For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. In that Gospel I just read, our Lord Jesus warns the unbelieving towns of what will happen to them if they do not change their ways. It's a hard gospel reading. You're not going to you're not going to hear it at a wedding or or even a funeral or you're only going to hear it here when our Lord speaks in in a tough tone, stern against the towns who where he performed miracles and they they didn't believe, they didn't repent, they had no change of heart. It reminds us of what Isaiah said in that first reading. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. That's how God is speaking through Isaiah. We, we have to look at our faith in our life as like a foundation on a house. Uh, we, we, we have a foundation to, to build upon it. We have our faith to build upon it in the kingdom of God. How do we care for our foundation? Well, you are daily mass here. You're caring for your foundation. But how do we sometimes take our faith for granted? Good prayer to pray in the morning is, Lord, today I'm grateful for my faith. We, we often take it for granted. And let's remember in that prayer that unless our faith is firm, we will not be firm. Lord, for that gift, we are grateful. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we received this wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and with contrite hearts. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Kateri, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, 
through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. Body of Christ, bring me to everlasting. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord, that by the example of Saint Kateri Tekawitha, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. And I wish you a good rest of the day.